introduce um, the MCs. So we're gonna get started because we only have 67 minutes. So here we go. Our MC is Alexandra, Denzel, and Fani. Let's give it up.
guys know, my name is Fani, and today I will be reciting a poem called Diversity. When I look in a book, I see that it's true, that you could be me and I could be you. We might not share a country, appearance, or name, and oftentimes we're different, but often the same. And I bet if we met in a book for a while, we would find something there that would make us smile. If I just wanted me, there are mirrors for that, but you can't get that inside, and they're boring and flat. No reflections don't open, and all they do is show, is this the things you think or the things that you know? But look in books, and if it is there, I see who I am and who we are. Thank you.
on the stage, we have a, a poem read by Kendrick Jackson uh, called Amphibian. So give it up for her. Let's see up for her. Yeah, Kendall, you got it, girl. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to be reading a poem called Amphibian today. In Greek, amphibian means on both sides of life. As in amphibians live on land and in water, as in immigrants leave lands to cross waters. While amphibians lay shellless eggs, immigrants give birth to Americans. In water, gill tadpoles sprout limbs. On land, amphibians develop lungs, just like immigrants develop lungs. They breathe in pine, fuel, and a cold atmosphere. Amphibians' damp skin oxygenates. Immigrants toil and slumber deathly. Their colors brighten, they camouflage. They've been known to fall out of the sky, completely at home in the rain. Great performance, Kevin. Thank you so much for reading that poem. Now.
Let's get hyped for Andover's first step team to Andover Step Angels! Attention! Five, six, seven, eight. Yo, listen up. No matter what they do, no matter what they say, we're gonna resonate, 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 resonate. is called Corcovado by Stan Gens. Quiet nights of quiet stars, quiet chords from my guitar, floating on the silence that surrounds us. Quiet thoughts in quiet dreams, quiet walks by quiet streams, and a window that looks out on Corcovado, oh how lovely Mom. But some 
Sometimes people think I'm from Hong Kong. My family came here in the 1980s, but now here they are in the land of free, full of dreams and opportunities. Daddy always said, be good. Daddy always said, make rice. But I have all this homework, I need a life. Always pressuring me so one day I'd be a good wife. I am a mom daughter. Be a doctor, they said. Come back to help your people, they said. Do what makes you happy, they said. But what makes me happy isn't what they accept. Daddy always said you have to do better. Daddy always said wash dishes. But what if one day I follow my dreams instead of being in the ER doing stitches? Here we are taught to be proud of who we are and what we represent. But how am I supposed to when the people I love back at home deny what makes me content? Don't dye your hair. Don't go anywhere. Don't wear ripped jeans. I didn't raise you to not be clean. I am a mom daughter. You don't have a mother, so don't make a fool of yourself. You are not going to receive help from anyone. Just be a doctor and live your life well. Don't talk back to your elders, just smile and nod. But every time I do that, I feel like I'm a fraud. Speaking your mind isn't good. Just go in the kitchen and cook. And no, you can't go out to town to study. Just stay here where it's safe and sound. You know, sometimes I don't understand this English reading. I don't know what's wrong. But I do know I'm starting to lose my mom. A disappointment at school, a disappointment at home. I don't know which is worse, but I feel so alone. Daddy always said, don't get too happy. Daddy always said, work harder. But if I never heard you once say you were proud of me, how am I supposed to conquer? I am a lone daughter. First generation, Asian, yes, we are part of the population situated in this black and white nation. Society calls me a nerd. Society calls me an overachiever. What society doesn't know is I'm the eldest of my family as my mother begs with fear in her eyes to stay in town for college because we can't afford college elsewhere. My parents' expectations of my education, of my aspiration, but my dignity in the evaluation of humanity is my compassion. I am Hmong, not Mongolian daughter of the refugees, ancestors, survivors from the Vietnam War. Why must the sick of war be hidden in the history book, silence in the mouth of America's reputation? My rules of my people mong? No, I'm not mad that it's not in the books, but it just feels so wrong. I feel like I'm ashamed to America's dignity. You see, I live in a world where I must not be a disgrace, a disgrace to my parents, a disgrace to my family, my culture, my religion, my ancestors, my heritage. They call me Chinese. They say I eat cats and dogs. They say I am the freshest boat of them all. They call me names. They call me slurs. Sometimes I don't know where I belong. I don't want to lie anymore. I don't want my identity to be other. I hate the stupid language barrier I have with my grandparents. I am an Asian Hmong American. Next up, we gotta get excited for this dance, y'all.